Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Ari, and today I'm going to be doing a little Q&A and just answering some of you guys' questions about me because I had probably over a thousand questions when I posted this post right here on my story asking you guys to just ask me some questions in the midst of all this chaos. So yeah, let's get into it. Before we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe, also like and comment, and let me know what videos you would like to see from me because I'm always open to trying new things for you guys. So yeah. So I'm going to answer about maybe 15 to 20 questions because I did have a lot and a lot of them were just repetitive. So I'm just going to answer the questions that I got a lot because that seems to be what y'all want to know about me. Some of the questions were just out of line. I'm not answering them. Simple. Sorry. All right. So first question says, hey, you're a doll. How did you grow your page and create content that is engaging? Thank you so much. Her Instagram name is Blasian Doll. Thank you, girl. I've been actually doing content creating since October. Actually, I just started doing like get ready with me's and little days in my life. And then I ended up actually really loving making content. I actually was something that I felt passionate for. And I started to just, you know, develop, learn new things, watch new people and just develop my own skills. So that's really how I started to grow my page. I really just started to do what I wanted to do. And then the followers followed. That's really how it is. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just literally make content. I love clothes, I love fashion, I love beauty, I love all that stuff. So I just made content about it. And if y'all want a video where I tell you guys tips and tricks on how to make content and how to get your stuff to push out on Instagram and stuff like that, let me know below because I will actually do a YouTube video for you guys to let you guys know how to grow your pages without going viral. I already had 65K before I went viral, so yeah i can make a video for you guys my next question is from my girl courtney she said what made you want to get into social media influencing honestly i just feel like i am a person that's meant to actually inspire other people and use my voice and my platform that really motivated me to want to push content out I've always really just been like a picture taker and video type person so once i kind of started to understand reels and tiktok a little bit more i started to want to make more content i've always done youtube i've been doing youtube since 2020 i used to just do a lot of college-based videos and then i just kind of stopped a little bit because school got a little hectic and then I started doing Instagram and stuff like that so I kind of ventured away from YouTube a little bit but not like fully I still would post every now and then like once a month at least but I am going to try to be a little more consistent just because I do have people who are sub to me and want to see me so yeah somebody asked me how do you deal with hate criticism from time to time as an influencer honestly I'm just gonna say toning it out really really hard i'm not gonna lie to you like i give major props to big influencers who are even bigger than me who get so much hate and just literally zone it out like diera girl if you ever see this you are a star i literally mean a star because the way she just stays quiet when people talk the most crap about her i admire it like i was literally just watching her video and i was like this girl really be just on hush mode when people are talking about her and honestly I'm gonna say it actually helps because the more you feed into it the more people feel like they have ammo to go against you even though you're really defending yourself and even though nobody knows you but yourself so it really doesn't matter what people say i just i'm just realizing to stay quiet um i ended up privating my twitter because i just don't have the open space or mental capacity to deal with thousands of haters i'm not gonna lie because that's really what it is at this point it's really just thousands of people finding reasons to hate me and i'm not gonna sit there and listen to it i don't have to like <laughs> i can private my page and you can sit there and wonder what i'm tweeting and just know yourself if you know yourself i promise you others opinions won't affect you as much as you think it will because if you can just sit there and listen to it it'll help you so much literally and don't read the comments that i know that's ironic that i'm saying that but don't read the comments because if you don't read the comments you don't know what people are saying and blocking people i'm not gonna lie my block list has went from to and i don't care because i don't have to sit there and let you talk about me what's one of your goals one of my goals is actually to probably hit 500,000 by the end of this year just from being myself and making my own content i also want to monetize my youtube channel I really just want to monetize myself completely as a content creator, especially when God has blessed me with the opportunity to be able to make content and pursue that right now. So I'm really going to take this and see this as God answer my prayers. I actually got this question a lot. What's your major in school? My major is kinesiology with a minor in psychology. I am currently a senior in college. I'm just going to say senior because I have been in college for years, but I'm really just a junior 
ish i did end up taking classes part-time one semester so it kind of pushed me back a little bit but yeah um i am in college i've been in college for about to be four years now so yeah go cougs a lot of people think that i'm just working at home depot no i am a college student full-time full-time college student somebody asked me what's my race what's my nationality i am american and i'm also black and white my mother was white my dad is black i'm mixed somebody asked me my age and my sign i am 21 and my sign is christ i don't really believe in the zodiac sign thing not gonna lie i used to um that's just not really like for me just as i've grown my relationship with christ i just don't believe in like astrology and stuff somebody asked me where i'm from i am from houston texas born and raised that's i've been here my whole life I've literally been in Houston my whole life. Question says, how long have you been a believer of Christ? I have been a believer in Christ my whole life. I grew up Christian. My dad instilled Christ in us at a young age. And I just have kept it going as my adult years have came in. Um, we always had Bible study, stuff like that. That was like how me and my family, you know, bonded, stuff like that. And before people were like, oh, it was forced on your neck. No it was not like that it's my way of life and a lot of people kind of have bashed me for being a christian which is fine you're entitled to your own opinion but no because i don't judge anybody for their religious preferences i'm more than open to discuss religion but we're not gonna bash each other because that's just not okay um i don't believe in all that bashing people for what they choose to believe in we can talk about it we can do whatever but we're not gonna bash each other we're not gonna judge each other for what we choose to walk our life in okay okay what's the best advice you ever got do unto others as you want done to you that is literally the best advice i've ever been given honestly that's the first thing that comes to mind when somebody asks me that i just believe if you treat people with kindness and you do good into this world it will come back to you tenfold literally the golden rule of life is to do unto others as you do unto yourself and also me being a christian that's just something that makes a lot of sense to me i do believe how you treat others is how you'll be treated so yeah my favorite type of music is honestly r&b and country i love country music i know people gonna be like country girl i love me some country music i'm not gonna lie to y'all me and luke combs locked in morgan wallen locked in i love me some country music i love r&b um i do like some rap but i'm not gonna lie i don't really listen to music a lot anymore i try to venture away from it sometimes i do listen to music like if i'm in my zone or i'm working out walking to class whatever the case may be studying but i really don't listen to music a lot like i'm not gonna lie to y'all but some of my favorite artists is gideon i love gideon drake um burna boy seen him in concert baby i'll insert a little clip right here i seen him in concert i was lit at coachella um who knows i love tims i love tims i like maverick city even though i'm not with that whole making music for the world thing they got going right now like that's literally my like playlist right now like those artists are literally the only people i listen to that's like the same five or six people i listen to all the time so yeah they said what's your next tattoo what are you doing i really don't think i'm gonna get another tattoo i already have five but i was thinking about maybe getting my dog's paw print on my ankle he had passed away a few months ago and i was so sad about that so i was thinking about doing something like that i've always wanted a spine tat but i'm not sure because i have a rib tat and that thing hurt so i'm not sure what is your favorite sport basketball baby basketball um i played basketball in high school i was a shooting guard so i love basketball that is definitely my favorite sport for team the warriors i know y'all gonna come for me runner up it would probably be football or soccer i'm not sure soccer is underrated y'all sleep if y'all don't watch soccer like soccer is actually a very good sport i trained it in high school when i was an athletic trainer so yeah i was just like so intrigued and just was like they have a lot of stamina to run back and forth back and forth back and forth for two hours no couldn't be me couldn't be me somebody said how difficult is it to truly be a godly woman and now under the pressure to be otherwise be otherwise quote unquote i don't find it difficult at all like i said i already had followers before all this I've always posted about christ a lot of people are under the conception i never posted about god if you go to my tiktok i have videos about god before i even blew up you look at my instagram i have videos about god i have a whole highlight on my instagram about god a lot of people are just under the misconception that i just started talking about god as soon as i blew up and i don't see the problem if that was the case because if i'm using my platform to push good things and the word what is the problem there i don't know people just find problems in everything but 
it's not hard. I'm still the same woman I was four days ago, five days ago. Like, nothing has changed about me. A lot of people have asked me, did I get fired? No, I did not get fired from Home Depot. I just have resigned myself from that situation at the moment because I care about my safety. I care about my life. And I don't want to put myself in jeopardy going to work knowing that people are literally going up to Home Depot and pretending to look for me, looking for me. People who have found my home address, stuff like that. I just don't see why I would be putting myself in that predicament. Knowing that most of the time I'm going to be closing, leaving at nighttime, I just don't see that for myself. So that was just the best thing for me to do in that situation because I don't want to be on a missing poster. That's just the truth of the matter. And a lot of people seem to not understand that. But hey, when you grow a platform and there's weird, creepy people... And a lot of people are like bashing each other on Twitter, like saying, oh, it was the men, it was the women. Um, a man sent me my address. Let's just clarify that. But also women were literally going out their way to call Home Depot and try to figure out where I work to get me fired. So I want to put clarity on that situation that it was not just one gender who did that to me. It was both. Both genders tried to literally ruin my job. So congratulations. I hope you feel happy. But that's not the end for me. Just wanted to clarify that. I'm sure there's people in the background like, woohoo, we got her, we got her fired. No, you didn't. You didn't, because my job didn't fire me. But she really didn't stop nothing, baby, because little did y'all know. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna just be quiet. But she says, What's your workout routine? I do not work out. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really do want to. I really, really do want to. Like uh, it's just my freshman year of college I was such a workout head I was 165 right now I'm probably 130 I was 165 I was toned I was big and that was right after high school so you know I was still in my workout routine and then life hit just stopped working out and I just never picked it up again I tried I really did but it's just like it's kind of hard to go into the gym and not have anybody work out with you and feel motivated so I just haven't you know actually went to the gym which sucks but I'm gonna try to get back into it I really am because I need to start you know being healthier because I literally ran the other day I ran like five foot eight, and I was tired I was like oof, heart was being fast chest was running I was like oh no I need to get in the gym ASAP and last question I'm gonna answer it says do you believe this happened by coincidence no I do not I think everything in this world happens for a reason I think this was definitely either a stepping stone for me for something greater or a learning lesson. Either or, I don't take this and look at it negatively at all. Like, of course, you know, for the past couple of days, I was feeling down. I was feeling like, ugh. But now I'm just, I have to keep living my life. I have to just figure out my next moves, start being consistent with my content so I can keep growing and making a source of income right now until... The next school year starts really i did not expect a joke on twitter to get 30 million views i'm not gonna lie to you i did not expect it to blow up like when i went to bed it was at 1 million i woke up it was at 20. i don't know how that happens but nothing happens for a reason just kind of wanted to let you guys get to know me a little more i wanted you guys to get to know my thought process a little bit more about all this stuff that's going on and just tell y'all a little bit more about me i'm not gonna tell y'all too much because Mm -mm. Um, I might do a part two Q&A just because this is a lot of questions and I just don't have the mentality to read through 1000 questions right now. So if y'all want a part two, let me know and I'll answer some more like, you know, nitty gritty questions when stuff kind of dies down a little bit more and there's not so many people watching me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning into this Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me. If you like what you see or you want to get to know me more on a personal level, stay subscribe and i'll do some more daily vlogs i'll let you guys into my life a little bit more so you know a little bit more about me and who i am thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video